What's up, everybody? So today I'm going to be comparing Splitter.ai and L-A-L-A-L.ai. La la la. <laughs> I'm going to be comparing the two uh, to see how they work. So basically, you're supposed to be able to drag and drop your song, and it's supposed to separate the voice and the uh, beat. So Splitter.ai gives you slightly more options. I've tried this a little bit before, where you can actually separate the beat itself uh, into drums, bass, piano, and other uh, along with the voice and I want to see how long they actually take and how good the results sound So without further ado, I'm gonna start the stopwatch so we can see how long it actually takes and get into it So here we go. I'm gonna start this up boom and Drag this in So the first is the L A L A L uh, Dot AI so these softwares are in, uh, interesting while I wait for this thing to go um, so when you do hear the end result, you can hear that there's some like, uh, f sometimes there's like phase issues, but they're using uh, different ways of audio processing to try to separate the vocals. If you ever use like DJ software like Serato or something like that, it kind of does the same thing where certain frequencies where your vocal range land, uh, they compress or limit, uh, allowing you just to hear the, the beat itself. So how the AI functions, what I'm assuming what's happening under the hood is doing something similar where they just uh, flip the phase on that frequency range, thereby in theory kind of getting rid of the, uh, the voice or whatever is in that area. Uh, same thing with the beat. Um, so it's kind of interesting to see how these things work and how fast they work. So we're about a minute into it and it seems like it's already did this. So here we go. So I'm going to stop this now. So that took about a minute and 14 seconds for it to separate. Um, and then you have the option three input tracks, 10 minutes total, huh? Okay. So I guess, are you limited to tracks? It looks like you are limited to how many tracks you can actually use with this thing. Um, and the other one, I didn't see a limitation. So already I give it to the splitter.ai with the amount of times it can use it. So let me hear the vocals. Not bad, not bad. kind of hear some of the voice still in the beat it's because it's compressing and inverting that frequency range trying to get rid of the voice not a bad job though you can kind of hear where it's suffering like in the lower range with the bass and the drum the uh, bass drum there's a slight like boxiness to it so okay so yeah, that one took a minute and 14 seconds, roughly. Uh, so let's do the splitter.ai. I'm going to do the equivalent of the same thing, where I'm just going to do two stems, where it's just the vocals and the instruments, just to be fair. So here we go. I'm going to reset the timer, starting. And now this is through the splitter.ai. So the experience I've had with this, it, took quite a bit longer on doing the the five stem model so I'm gonna guess that takes you know quite, you know a lot more processing because it has to go through all the individual frequency ranges and same kind of concept um, yeah so far this is actually going pretty good with just two uh, two different stems um, oh wow okay so upload speeds decent So yeah, this is the layout I'm not a fan of because the other one just kind of brings you straight to it, but it has processed it, but you have to go under this upload history. Okay, and let's just make sure everything's there. All right, so stop. Without me talking, I feel like it was around the same time, <laughs> um, honestly. But let's hear this so you have to download them. You can't just like preview them like the other one, unfortunately. So here's the end result. 
So I'm hearing a lot more artifacts with the splitter.ai with the voice. So let's hear the beat. Let's go back to the LAL thing. So we're about nine seconds in. I'll give a fair comparison. So the splitter.ai has a lot more artifacts I can hear in this. Let's go back to the vocal. So play the. I'm in you was on my mind, so I sent you a text like, hey friend. Okay, and then let's go to around the same time, so that's about 22. So definitely a lot more compression and artifacts using splitter.ai. Um, and the times that you saw on the screen, they were pretty close uh, when it came to splitting them into a uh, instrument track and a vocal track. So I want to show you the difference though um, so the LA LA thing here, not only are you limited to the amount of times, so yeah, you can only put 10 tracks in for a total of 90 minutes total. And I've used already one for this. It looks like, uh, okay. So I'm going to restart. So it doesn't look like it gives me the option to do anything separate other than that just the voice and the beats. So this is the part that I like a little bit better with Splitter AI as far as being able to have more control over things. Uh, if I want the individual parts of the beat, you can't really do that with the other LA uh, LA. So you can with Splitter though. So I'm gonna start again. I'm gonna drag this in. As long as I have the five stem model selected. Let's see. There we go. All right, and it's still going. So I'll go to my uploads. It seems like it has gotten a lot faster uh, before I've tried this. <clears throat> it took, shoot, nearly uh, half an hour or something. It was something ridiculous. Um, but this is done now and it took a little longer, closer to 40 seconds. So, Again, there's no preview of this, so I have to down, download this. So here are the, the stems of the end result of the splitter.ai. So it broke it down into individual parts. So here are the drums. So obviously there's a ton of compression and stuff going on. However, it's pretty impressive that it's able to separate the individual parts. Um, I feel like some of this might be kind of usable. I mean, you'd have to do a lot of tweaking though. So this is the piano. And here are the bass. The vocals. So it's kind of interesting to hear like what it's assuming is what and it's, I'm gonna assume that it goes by the frequency ranges. Like, you know, bass tends to live in the lower end and you're like your strings and your voice are kind of in the higher frequency range there. Piano, same thing. Um, and it's kind of crazy to hear what it's trying to do. Um, however, as you can hear, there are a ton of artifacts. So it'd be a lot of work to make that sound decent. But again, it depends on how you're trying to use these things. But I kind of wanted to just compare the two just so you can kind of hear how they both function. Um, if you're you know, a rapper or whatever and you're just trying to get like an instrumental of, out of a song, you can clearly hear that the LALAL.AI um, software uh, does quite a better job at separating the uh, voice and the instrument instrumental uh, with fewer artifacts. However, you don't have as much control and you don't have as many options to 
uh, work on. So the negatives with this is you're limited on tracks and there's a workaround to that, which I'm assuming you can use like a VPN or something and get around that. Uh, split it out AI, the drawbacks with this, you can't preview what you're actually going to hear. Uh, the amount of, uh, audio artifacts are a lot using the software. Um, and yeah, that's kind of the main reason you want it, you know, to have clear audio. And if that's kind of what it messes up, it makes it a little difficult, but if you need just instrumental in a pinch, or if you want to play around and try to get like a part of a song to sample and tweak, I can see how you can utilize this. Oh, so let's get to the positives. <laughs> I should do that first. Uh, yeah, you have a lot more options with this. Uh, there is no limitation to how many songs and stuff you can upload the LA L whatever thing here um, the audio is just the quality is just a lot better than the other um, and you can get around using it more times than I say that you can use it um, and it also has this really cool preview so hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of what's out there what you can use and how you can use it Sorry, this video took a little longer than I wanted it to. A lot of editing involved with this one. Uh, anyway, I will talk to you all soon. And be sure to like, subscribe, and check out my other um, other channels out there. I have a little TikTok channel by the same name, uh, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. I upload a bunch of artwork and all that good fun stuff. All right, you guys. Talk to you soon. Be safe. Peace.